Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Hi everyone, so here we are on 24 May 2020 and we will review the trade of last week. So we start with Odd USD. So Odd USD, we have this specific level right here, and you can see there is an arrow pointing up. So we want to buy this level only. So we have an angle thing at the level. You can eventually take retracement of this candle, stop loss below here, and take <coughs> since it's a very big candle, eventually to reward. And after that, we have a pin bar right here. So stop loss would be a bit below. It should not have triggered. If it triggered, you have another pin bar right here, stop loss below, and this one made three reward. So you have two opportunities to make two or three reward on this specific trade, and it's a win. Now, odd CAD. So odd CAD was a bit more tricky. We have a railroad track right here, and this one is a losing trade. So one loss. And after price break, make a pin bar, middle of this pin bar, retrace one entry made two reward and uh, might have triggered the stop loss so it's a break even so i will count one loss worst case scenario odd chf well bad luck you see price reverse just before the level right here made a kinky candle at the end of the week last week and after it made a bullish pin bar and after took off and made a huge move on the upside so we miss this trade odd new zealand so odd New Zealand, what do we get? We get a monthly level of resistance right here, which means after that, if the trend change, price most likely will continue to fall. And we get this pin bar, retracement entry made more than, pff, I don't know, maybe eight, nine, ten reward on this specific trade. If not, there is eventually an angle thing re here, retracement entry works, made three reward. And after once this level is broken, since we want to sell this level, we have a doji right here, broken down, and this one made two reward also. So we have one winning and two winning trades right here. So here we are on odd <coughs> GPY. So odd GPY, what happened? We have a doji right here, didn't break down, so no entry. After that, we have another doji broken down right here. So eventually you could have entered here, and this spike might have taken you out. And if so, it made an angle thing right here and you have a re-entry at the middle and this re-entry made it made 2.5 reward and i believe it will drop one more time so it's on the way it's a good trade so i will count eventually one loss but this might not be really a loss if you put your stop a bit above the spike as i advise you every week and we have one running with two reward and in worst case scenario it will be break even because the stop loss is at break even right now Odd Singapore, and after it didn't touch exactly the level, so we wait for next week. Euro odd, so Euro odd, we have the level that touched on Friday, and after it made a doji, and you could eventually have entered this doji on breakout or this pin bar after the doji, and this is a winning trade going down. There was no second chance to re-enter, it was really at the beginning of the week with this pin bar on the forward chart. GBP odd, what do we get? So we got the first right here, pin bar right here, retracement entry, stop loss right here. It's a very tight trade and it made two reward, which means you put a, you would have placed your stop loss at break even, so it's a break even trade. After that, you have a doji on the second level and those level are monthly very strong level, especially when there is this rectangle right here. It's a powerful zone. So this zone break out of this doji, it's a winning trade. And eventually you have an angle thing right here and you could have made eventually two rewards. So one break even with the angle thing and one doji winning trade. So overall you have one break even and one winning trade. Cat CHF uh, reverse at the round number but didn't touch our level so there is no trade. Cat JPY same. CHF JPY. So as you can see, we have a nice level. Future support once broken up. That's exactly what it did. We have an inverted hammer right here and break up and it's a winning trade. So you could have taken the breakout of the hammer 
with two rewards or you could eventually have taken the retracement entry of this angle thing which is what I took and this one made 2.5 so let me check tech, 20 pips and it made uh, it made 60 so it's a winning trade actually so this level is a good winning level now let's go to CHF Singapore no trade Singapore JPY we have a trade at the beginning of the week a big angle thing bullish bar like this retracement but didn't really touch the 48 percent so the only way was to take the breakout and to take one or two reward and it's a winning trade also gold so we have the monthly good level of support and resistance we have two arrow so it can be as a resistance or as a support and we got eventually this doji broken down this one a huge winning trade for a sell since we know this is a monthly good resistance level i would have taken this specific trade and after so we have a, a white level daily support right here that we want to buy and what happened here is we have a pin bar retracement entry stop loss right here and it's a beautiful three reward winning trade after that at this monthly level when the price come back to it we have a series of doji here it's more more like a bearish pin bar right here because you see the body finish here the pin is all the way so this could have been eventually a breakout entry and it's a winning trade also so you have eventually one winning two winning going up and one winning going down again and you can see it's confluent with a round number in the middle of my zone silver silver what do we get we get a very huge bearish pin bar right here and this one you, we can count it eventually as a loss and after we have this doji broken down a beautiful winning trade so far we have 10 win and four losses and after all of them have three reward i compute automatically euro usd so euro usd i have a future support if it breaks up but didn't break up and what we get aside of this we have a bearish angle thing candle so this one could have been taken but it's uh, it's a level that i would prefer to take as a buy so not really and after price came on friday so this trade as an angle thing bullish and might be a good on monday morning to check what price action is doing there to buy so completed trade on this chart zero eurocad no level touch last week euro chf uh, euro chf was very very volatile last week so we got a very huge pin bar it's too huge to be taken but if you would have taken the retracement it's still in a good process to be a winning trade after that when the price break made this, this pin bar right here a retracement entry would have been eventually possible and this one was a winning trade i will not count it because it's too volatile to take but i just show you what is taken is for example since you have a arrow pointing up here i would have taken this pin bar right here stop loss right here this one is a huge winning or eventually you could have re-enter at the angle thing bar right here so retracement entry stop loss below and this one is a winning too so you could have won if you have waited proper market condition to take two trades going up and those two won so i count one only euro new zealand didn't touch anything euro gpy let's go to the four hour chart so this level was good but touch on friday and after took off and no really a way to enter this trade yet might be on monday if it retouched this specific line so no trade on euro jpy euro singapore so euro singapore was complicated last week so we had a very big zone quite big right here and price made a pin bar retracement entry or breakout those are losing trade so there is one losing setup right here ah, I, I can count eventually two losses because you have a pin bar right here too retracement entry right here and this one would have made only 1.5 reward so i will count two losses on this one and what i wait is the price eventually to come all the way near this resistance and eventually make a nice move at least to the round number right here so i count two losses on this chart euro hong kong no level touch it touched a weak zone and actually it made profit on the weak zone right here as you can see from here you have entered your pin bar retracement entry this one made two reward so it's a break even and after you have an angle thing retraced a bit and this one is a winning trade i don't count anything because it's a weak zone but 
you could have taken advantage of this specific zone. Euro, Euronoc. So Euronoc, we have on Monday, we are at the monthly bottom of a bearish doji candle, which means this level can be a support and a resistance very, very easily. So what happened last week is it made a railroad track right here. And after that, it made a pin bar on Friday night. So this pin bar, enfin, it's more doji actually, broken down was a winning trade. Would have taken this trade on Monday for a sell. And uh, yeah, it's a good setup. It made a doji on Monday also at the level. So you could have counted and win this specific trade. GBP USD. So we wanted to sell this level, but it didn't work. So we have one losing trade, pin bar, retracement entry, one losing. And after it didn't touch my level, it made a very nice pin bar. And this pin bar is a winning trade, but I don't count it because it didn't touch uh, the area that I was waiting for. So one loss on this chart. GBP CHF. Uh, actually, my vertical line should be right here. So we have on Monday a bullish pin bar, very nice one right here. But it didn't touch the level for a few pips. And it didn't take this trade. And it made a huge move up like more than five reward it's a good trade uh, but there is nothing to count because it didn't touch so we will see if it retouch this specific level next week <laughs> gbp gpy so same we wanted to sell this level retracement entry this one a losing trade and after that what we got we got eventually this doji broken down it's a losing trade but it made a bearish pin bar the retracement entry would have been a second entry Stop loss right here, and this trade specifically is a winning trade. So we have one loss and one win. We have three rewards, so we are still way, way, way ahead of the game. GBP Singapore, no level touch. GBP try. So this one was tricky. It stayed at the level all week. So it made a very nice pin bar right here. Retracement entry did trigger. It made one, and let me check how many rewards it made. 38 and it made uh, I forget oh it's a winning trade we have a winning trade right here i couldn't take it with my broker but it's a winning trade target profit hit right here so one winning trade on gbp try you have to take in account the spread huh? and to take profit when the level is near the three and after that it made another pin bar right here and it's ranging right now in the middle of it so we don't know what will happen for me, it might it make a descending triangle right here. So it might continue to go down and eventually test this zone and took off, take off from this specific zone. Because what you can see on this specific chart, and it's not rocket science, but it made a huge movement going down on the same direction without any retracement up. So I still believe we will see a retracement of some kind soon. So we have one winning trade on this chart. Now let's look at Euro GBP. So Euro GBP, we have this nice pin bar on Monday, pin bar. Eventually retracement entry did trigger and it made three rewards. So this one is a winning trade. And after that, we got on Friday another pin bar at the next level. Retracement entry made three rewards already. So two winning trades on Euro GBP. GBP SEC. Our GBP SEC was a bit tricky. So we have a monthly pin bar uh, level right here and uh, we have some dodgy broken up so this could have been eventually a losing trade because it's spiked down again to take out the stop loss so we have one loss right here and after we have a bullish angle thing candle right here and this trade is still playing but with the weekend and as you can see this is the spread right here I close my trade on Friday on all exotic pairs and I just keep maybe one or two uh during the weekend because we don't we never know what can happen during the weekend but this is a good setup and i will count one loss and one trade is running so i don't count it always worst case scenario gbp gbp knock so gbp knock uh, acted a bit same we have for example this one breaks the level doji didn't broke up so no no trade on the first level second level we have a doji broken up so this one is a losing trade and after we have an angle fin candle right here and i took this trade because it's in a strong monthly support zone so i took the retracement entry right here no sorry this retracement entry is uh, is break even it was break even on friday so we have one losing trade on this chart 
New Zealand, USD, uh, make a huge move up, but didn't touch any of my levels, so no trades. Euro, uh, New Zealand CAD, sorry. It made a doji at the level, broken down, and actually it made a pin bar. And I forget to add the arrow for the direction right here. So I will correct that today for next week. And this one was eventually a losing trade. And you could also, if you have taken this pin bar, maybe win the buy. But I will not count it. I will just count one losing trade right here. New Zealand CHF. Nothing touch. New Zealand GPY. We have a beautiful trade. Took out our stop loss first because we have this one touching. Uh, eventually retracement took out. And after you have an angle thing right here. And this one is running, not yet done. And the stop loss is at break even, so this is a safe trade. Still running. So nothing to count except one loss. But you know that you already have recovered your loss with the next trade on it. Uh, New Zealand GPY. So I wanted to buy this level. So what happened? We have a railroad track right here. Uh, retracement entry. This one is a losing trade. Sec GPY. As you can see, very huge spread. So. You don't hold any trades during the weekend. The slippage might be too, too much, too much. And nothing from here, so there is no trade on this pair. USD cat down. Didn't touch my level reverse just before and took off. Now we have uh, tac -tac. USD GPY, no trade. USD CHF, no trade. USD Singapore, no trade. And we have this very nice, beautiful trade right here. What do we got? We got a level that can be taken as a support and as a resistance both ways and it break very violently. So when price come back to it, make a railroad track, a retracement entry, this trade is running. The spread is acceptable, so I could have let it run during the weekend. And um, it's running with one reward already. So I will not count it, but should be a good winning trade after that. And if I see a W forming at the bottom right here, I will cancel. I will stop and take only one reward. USD Polonia. There is a good rejection, but no real pattern here, so there is no trade to have been taken here. USD Danish Krona. Here is a beautiful one. You have a pin bar, retracement entry, make two reward, and this one is a break even. And after you have an angle thing, and uh, didn't retrace that much, but still the, as a breakout trade made 1.5 reward, so it's a winning trade. I will not count it, but just to show you. The first should be break even and the second is running still. USDCNH no trade and GBP New Zealand. This one, we have a level of support and resistance at the same time. Made an angle thing here, so it's a losing trade. After we have another angle thing, so another losing trade. But at the same time, it's a railroad track going down. So the retracement entry did trigger and this one was a winning trade. And after we have Doji. Little pin bar, pin bar, retracement entry, stop loss below. This one is a winning three reward trade. So we have one win, two win, one loss, two loss. And that's it for the entire profile. So we have 18 winning trades and we have 16 losing trades. The winning trade have three reward. So 54 reward minus 16 trades losing, 38 reward profit. And if you trade with 2%, it makes 76% profit of your account in one week using the swing trading strategy and my weekly analysis. I hope you took advantage and make profits. See you next week. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses, one on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.